Hey, what's going on? Just back with another video here. So just wanted to play this uh, quick video. I didn't see too much news going on. I just finished work. I didn't have a time to make video a video on my break or lunch. So I'm just going to uh, have a look at this here. It's just from Toronto Sun, caught on camera. Trudeau is asked about leaving or making changes. Hi, Prime Minister. Since June's by-election loss in Toronto, many in your caucus have called for change, whether that's to party leadership or to your senior staff or perhaps the caucus. Uh, you've had some time to think about this uh, for the last six weeks, presumably. Can you tell me whether you're planning on implementing any changes that your caucus is looking for? Well, one of the things that we've been focused on, not just over the past few weeks, but over the past many years, uh, is making, making sure we're investing in Canadians. This announcement today is a great example of how, uh, from local MPs, to ministers, we've all been working together to build a strong economy for the future at a time where Canadians are rightly concerned about this. And the, con the conversations I have uh, with members of my team uh, leave me more optimistic and more focused than ever on fighting for Canadians every step of the way. We're going to continue to make sure that we're putting Canadians first in everything we do. Uh, that's the conversations I've had and that's the commitment I've made to Canadians. Who honestly believes a, any damn word he just said? We're putting Canadians first and, you know, we're working on building a strong economy. Okay. You've been prime minister for nine years. Is this the first time you're realizing that a strong economy is important? Because what's taken so long? All the issues that's been happening under this government, and he's got the nerve with that douchebag little smile he has, that smug little pipsqueak smile, we're putting Canada first. Like, answer me in the comments section. Be be as honest as you possibly can. Who believes that? Because I don't think anyone in their right mind believes that he is Canada first. It's hard to believe that any politician really is Canada first. Some of them we don't know yet. They haven't been in power. But Trudeau, we know for sure. He is globalism first, not Canada first. He's other countries first. If he was Canada's first, if he was Canada's first, wouldn't he, wouldn't he be worried about Canadians? And I mean, not just by speaking like this. I mean, by actually doing things. Wouldn't he have wor worked to make sure that we have a strong economy? Wouldn't he have worked to make sure that there's people taken off the streets and receiving help they need, whether they're mentally ill or addicted to drugs? Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. He wants to make drugs, hard drugs, more accessible. Oh, right, because he's Canadian. He's Canada first. Oh, that's right. Like, he's he's such a liar. And, he, like, it's almost like when he speaks, he's kind of like, you just see, like, he's so nervous. Like, he, he even knows what, he, what he's saying is complete nonsense. He knows. There's, there's no way he believes what he's saying. But he thinks all of us are stupid. And for about 25 or so, well, 23% of voters right now are stupid. And they believe it, and they're going to vote for him again. Canada first? My ass. You mean communist, communist first, right? That's what he really is. Canada for He was even wearing a, a, a t-shirt when he was in uh, Tofino uh, during his last uh, vacation. Canada first. Canada proud. Canada strong. Yeah, we used to be until your dumb ass got into the office. And now we got to get your dumb ass out and hope that Pierre Polyev can keep some of his promises and make some real changes really fast because a lot of people are in big trouble. Everything that's bad is up. Literally everything. I've mentioned, I don't want to repeat myself and go over every single issue, but we, if you follow my channel, if you've watched any of my videos, you all, you, you all know this already. And he's got the nerve to say, I'm Canada first. More like Canada last. My God, man. Like... The nerve of him and Jugmeet Singh to say these things while they're literally forming a coalition, holding can uh, Canadians hostage to their bullshit policies, is it's it's unbelievable. And it's un more unbelievable that so many people still believe them. Now, that being said, Pierre Polyev in a recent poll just reopened a 20-point lead. I can actually pull that up for you guys really quickly here. Let me go back to... And by the way, if you ever want to check out polls and whatnot, some really good websites would be 338 Canada. Abacus Data, uh, you got Angus Reed. Those are the three that I go to the most. So if you ever want to have a look at this for yourself, you can definitely uh, go to any of those websites. They're all very good. 
Okay, so let's look at the federal polling here. So, okay, so yeah, this is August 11th, so yesterday. So, okay, so it's an 18-point lead, although some other polls, I think Abacus showed a 20-point lead, but I don't think I have it pulled up here. But yeah, either way, it's just, you know, he's... He's going to lose by about 20 points in the popular vote, and it's going to be an absolute landslide in terms of the, you know, how many ridings and how many seats Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives get. We all know it. They can't stop the bleeding. You know, a lot of people say, well, there's going to be some weird things. It, they can't really do anything like that if it's if it's not close. If Pierre Polyev wins a majority, they can't form together like they did in France. And even if they did, a lot of people in Canada wouldn't support it. They did polls on this. Northern Perspective broke it down. They did a great job, like usual. And it was like 33% of NDP supporters don't even want it. So even if you could stop Pierre Polyev from winning a majority seats, which they can't, it seems, they they, they likely wouldn't even get the support from the voters. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're done. Done like dinner. They deserve, to, they deserve it. I'm really hoping, and I'm very, very hopeful, just like last year, that we can get an election before October of 2025, but we're for sure going to have to wait at very, very least, in my opinion. It's not going to happen in, at, until, you know, maybe springtime, uh, so maybe around, you know, April and May. I'm, I'm really, really hoping that that's when we see it, but I don't know. It's it's hard to tell with Jagmeet and Justin, and we know they have an agenda, and it's to ruin Canada, clearly. Otherwise, they're literally the most incompetent people ever, which I don't believe. I think it's evil, not incompetence. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. What do you think about Trudeau having the nerve to actually come out here and say that he's Canada first? It just, it makes me laugh, but it makes me also disgusted at the same time. But let me know what you guys think. I always enjoy reading and uh, reacting to your comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another